hello guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna show you how to create stepper control in objective C so for that just click on this Xcode icon and after that we need to click on this option create new Xcode project right and after that under iOS choose single view application click on next and product name you can give stepper demo and language is objective c just click on next and create it and then here we need to click on this main dot storyboard this is the view controller which is by default here and on this we will place that stepper object by searching from this object library so I'm searching like this is the stepper control we have which is used to increment or decrement a value so just drag and drop onto the view controller like this and its value will be shown in the label so I'm taking the label UI element also like this and here from attribute inspector I'm changing the color of this label like this one and deleting this label text yeah and alignment also should be a center right and now we need to create property for all these objects so by clicking here assistant editor we will have two split views one of one is of view controller and second of view controller coding motion so here we need to click on dot h file and by selecting the object we can create the property by pressing control button and dragging into the block of interface so I'm giving the name here LBL value right and for this stepper we need to create two property one is first outlet connection and I'm giving the name stepper only stepper disconnected and again drag and drop this time I'm taking the connection of action type right and here I'm in I'm giving the name stepper clicked right now I'll just close this and go to the view controller dot m file here in this action type method we will implement all the coding means when the stepper is clicked so this method will be executed so here I will simply pass the stepper values to label so by writing self I am calling the label property dot text equals to uh, I am passing the value of stepper so the instance name and then value right semicolon so stepper value will be passed into the label so using the ns string format like ns string a string with format and format will be like uh, percent f because it returns your floating values right so now this way we pass the value to the label object here comma should be there yeah now it is correct before running the project I want to tell you something about the stepper values and minimum values by selecting this we can see in the attribute inspector we have default value that is 0 we have minimum value that is 0 and maximum is 100 and this step means each time value should be incremented 
by default we have one like i want to increase value by pressing this plus button so it will increase by one if i put two here so it will be incremented by two like two then four then six like this and the behavior of this stepper button we have default auto repeat and continuous this is selected so uh, by default these are selected auto repeat means when you clicked and hold the key so it will automatically get repeated the value like one two three four continuously and continuous means you are increasing the value or decreasing the value in the continuous format and wrap is basically uh, the continuation after end means if i run this and i increase this so it will end at 100 but it will again move to one minimum value so this is the functionality of a wrap so now choose the simulator from here like iphone 7 i'm selecting and run the project so after running the project this is our project looking like this and when i press on this plus button the value will be increased and it is returning some floating values so it is incremented by one because a step value is by default one so it will get two three four when i pressed on this button like this and if, if i pressed this negative button it will decrement it by one like this so we can configure these floating values to be appeared in integer value like so in the coding portion dot m file we can put 0, 0.0 right so after again running the project we can see the difference yeah so when i clicked on this plus or minus button it is showing only an integer value and like i hold this button so it is incrementing automatically right and this is the maximum value and now it is decrementing the value so this is our stepper control and you can also find the notes on my blog site which is mentioned in the description below to this video i hope this is very helpful to you so thank you guys thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like the button and subscribe my channel thank you guys see you in the next video till then bye bye